Why it's windy. windy. It's, windy. it's windy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very well. So as you can see, I'm with Shelby again. Hello. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Shelby again and again and again. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> nope. Um, but basically today we are going to do a video of a library tour yes. of our university. Yes. Royal yes. Holloway University of London. We're gonna do the two libraries. So yep. we're gonna do Founders Library, which is just right behind us. Yes. And we're gonna do the main library, yep. which is probably the big one you see in photos. Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. There's Thomas and Jane Holloway right there. It's and a really lovely day today, lots of is. sun. Yes, look, everyone's having yeah. a picnic. Where's the library from here? We can see it from here. Can you point it out, please? That one. Yes, it's literally up there in the corner. No. If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you click the subscribe button. If you have been watching, Hi. thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Let's go, Shelves. Let's go, let's, let's go. go. Just some COVID rules for the library and some hand sanitizer. So, this is the Founders Library. It's open 24-7 and it is a silent study library, meaning that you can't really talk in here. But honestly, out of everywhere on campus, this is my favorite spot to study with my friends because it always gives me this Harry Potter vibes. <laughs> I don't really get my books from here, I get them from the main library, but I just love studying in here, especially at night. So right now we are in front of the Davison building. Basically, this is the second library, the one that is modern, right, Shelves? The main library, yeah. Yes, the main library. Um, I'll talk a bit more when we're inside, but let's go. Student card. It's a bit dark, but there we go. We shall enter. <laughs> okay, so right over there we have Cafe on the Square. They basically sell Starbucks here and they're open every day throughout the week. And it's just nice to grab a cup of coffee first before I go head into the library. Right over there, there's Student Services Centre. Any inquiries that you have about anything at all, your well being, accommodation, anything. You can always go over there and as you can see right here there's loads of more sofas for study spaces see i can just sit here with my laptop and study it also has like charges and stuff which is pretty nice so a lot of people have been asking me like do, do i need to buy books to go to university and stuff like that i wouldn't recommend it because it is a bit expensive right shelves mm -hmm. it can be like 50 pounds or something on campus there's a lot of like resources so you don't have to buy them and you just return them in like a week and this is where you return the items so that comes in handy yeah. But obviously, you can't write stuff on the books, okay? Don't, don't do that. Don't ruin the books. We have an event space right over there. Event space place. Um, careers and Employability Centre. Anything related to careers. Uh, if you want a part-time job, a graduate job, um, jobs fairs, anything. Uh, CV checks, um, interview coaching. You go right in there they're closed really at the minute though it is it is closed at the minute but they're operating online mm -hmm. um i'm not going to record the union shop we're going to do that in a separate video in the university tour so make sure you click on that one and watch that one first but basically that's the union shop that's where me and shelby work <laughs> <laughs> yep we work there but i avoid working with her because i see her every day no, but you've enjoyed the shifts we've done together. We've only done one shift together. I'll, I'll, I'll put in extra clips. Nope. I'll put in, I'll send, I'll send extra clips for you to put in right here. Like right here. Oh, well, 
Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't tell us. Okay, we're still on the first floor and right there is the library. This is not a sun and study area. No. This is usually where the library people, is that what we call them? Library people? Librarians. Librarians are. So if you have any queries, you can always go over here. And over here is the IT help desk. Anything related to your Wi-Fi or your emails not working, you can always visit them over here. Um, these are basically a lot of books. If you want to borrow a book, it's on the website. You search for the book's name and it will give you the number. Then you go to the library, you go to the number. Mm. It's also in categories of yes. the subject. You go to the number and it says like this one. This is what it says in the website. And there you go, it's that. It just makes it easier. Mm. Also, individual study spaces. Loads there used to be groups here. Oh yeah, these are like the group study spaces. Yeah. That used to be filled up with lots of chairs. And then the whiteboard over there. This is so weird, I haven't been here in a while, so I've seen like all the individual spaces instead of the big chairs. Yeah, usually it's like big and there's so many mm. chairs, but hopefully it will change soon. Yeah, I'm sure they'll change it back. I used to use this part a lot. Oh, do you? Yeah, film studio. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of DVDs. This is for my books are for management students. Oh, that's easy. So you search on the internet, library research, you type in the book that you want, you go to the location. So for example, I want to borrow this book. Okay. I want to borrow this book. What is it? New, New media, media, popular, popular imagination. <laughs> you need your student card. You scan it. There you go. And then you just put the book under and it scans it straight away. See? So usually I just press the green button, but because we're not allowed to touch the screen, it means that I've already borrowed it. And do not touch the screen. If you take this out without scanning it, those things will beep. Those things at the side will yeah. start beeping. You and don't you want, want to that. avoid that. Yes, you don't want everyone staring at you. Yep. Say your time limit on this book is done, you need to return it, you go to one of these places and you put your book in. And we wait for it and it says right over there it's returned and you say without receipt. Make sure you return your books before the deadline, if not you're gonna get a fine. That right, helps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. This is the first floor, that's the last one. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but this library has three levels, ground floor, first and second. And basically, in general, in this side is silent study area. No talking, same like the founders one. Right over there, like the one that we've been before, is group study. You can talk, there's little rooms where you can go in with your mates. And that's my favorite one right over there. Is it, the, is it free? Yeah, it's the individual study spaces. Oh, I love the individual study shall spaces. See, shall see? Let's go, let's, let's go. go, let's go. Let's go. So we're in the silent study area right now and this is my favorite study spot. Just imagine looking at founders on a rainy day with my hot coffee and my 2000 word assignment. It's absolutely perfect. You can also get your books from here. It's not only on the ground level and there's a water fountain if you ever need to refill your bottle. There's also a study space area for those who have a disability or dyslexia. And if you didn't bring a laptop, you can always go to these spaces and use the computers. This is just like the outside between the silent study and the group study. Oh, actually this one is so silent. Silent, too silent. But over there is just group. Should we go to the group study? Yeah, let's go. There's also lockers guys all around campus if you ever want to put Can't this stuff unavailable in there. though, yeah. And a vending machine, coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Let's go to the group study. Now we can talk. Oh, why is it silent? Usually it's not silent. It's over here. Oh, they all change it to silent. It's because we're not allowed to do group studies. Yeah, at the moment because of COVID we're not allowed to, but... It's pretty much the same. We'll, we'll take you around, but it's pretty much the same. 
You can also borrow a laptop from the library as long as you return it on time as well as the charger. That's my favourite meeting room. This is supposed to be the group study area. Before COVID, there's loads of sofas where students can sit around together. But hopefully by September, this will change. You can also use the printer and scanner in the library. You just need to use your student card and the university will send you £10 every year to use these printers. This is from the first level, right, Charles? So that was round. This is yep, first. This is first. Then we're going to second. second. So we're at the top of level now. It's pretty much the same silent study right over there. And this one is for postgraduate. So this entire room is for postgraduate students. And there's also a balcony. Good? Yeah. I'm here. Oh, it's been a while since I've been here. Yeah, it's so nice. Soaking up them rays. Yeah, nice. <laughs> you don't get this often, guys. You're gonna make the most of it. Yep. Oh, look, they're roller skating. That's found this square where a lot of things happen. Mm -hmm. That's Wind's building, this big auditorium. Mm -hmm. We'll do the full university tour soon. That's why make sure you subscribe to my channel and Shelby's. Yeah. We're going into the library again because we wanted to show you this really nice study area which is located on the fourth floor. Not a lot of people know how to get here, well at least I didn't in my first year. Um, but yeah, it's basically through these doors, up the stairs and you find yourself in a very nice area to study. Guys, I can't open my eyes, but I really hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed that library tour and it's helpful, especially for prospective students that are going to Royal Holloway. We would really recommend Royal Holloway, wouldn't we? Yeah. yeah. It's, even though it hasn't been exactly what I planned my uni experience, we've made the most of it. Most definitely. Like, it's yeah. so, so good. I, I like. I wish I could just turn back time and... Uh, I would do it all over again if I oh, could. Yeah. Really hope you guys like it. Make sure you click the subscribe button on Shelby's channel and my channel for the next couple of videos. Don't forget to like, comment, comment and, and subscribe. And we'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye! Do that again, I'm no, it's okay! Dog, 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 The dog has disappeared. <laughs> Oh, keep talking. <laughs> you know what? I think that's it, right? Okay, there's outstanding charges on your account. I don't have outstanding charges. Oh, well, let me record Thomas and Jane Holloway. <laughs> <laughs>